Welcome to Calvin's Online Math. Let us look at this interesting equation. Solve by completing the square 2x squared plus 3x minus 9 is equal to 0. So with the completing the square, uh, you first of all uh, make sure that the coefficient of x squared is 1. So it means we divide by a. In our case, a is 2. So we divide through by 2. So that what we are left with is x squared plus 3 over 2x minus 9 over 2 is equal to 0. Then the next step will be to move the constant term, that is c, to the right hand side. So that you have x squared plus 3 over 2x is equal to, you check it to the side, it becomes positive. So we have that to be equal to 9 over 2. Then the next step is to now observe the left hand side of the equation and you find that it is uh, an incomplete square. So we complete it by introducing C. But remember the relationship we have that C is the same as B over 2 squared. So let us use uh, this relationship to introduce C. And whatever we do on one side, we have to do uh, to the other side so that the equation holds. So we're going to have x squared plus 3 over 2x plus half of b squared. So half of b is just half of this, which is the same as 3 over 4 squared is equal to 9 over 2 plus 3 over 4 squared. So the next thing is just to form the perfect square at this side by taking the square root of x, which is x, and adding it to the, 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 the square root of the new c, so that is plus 3 over 4, and squaring it, and then simplifying uh, the other side, which will be 9 over 2 plus, this is 9 over 16. So we can combine this side so that it is a single uh, a fraction. So let us do that. So the LCM there is uh, 16. So you have 2 into 16, 8 times, and 8 times 9 is 72. Plus 16 goes there once, uh, 1 times 9 is 9. So it means what we have is what we have now is x plus 3 over 4 squared equal to this. So that is 72 plus 9, which is 81 over 16. Then the next step would be to uh, get the square root of both sides. Get the square root of that and the square root of that. So that you have x plus 3 over 4 is equal to plus or minus. The root of this will be 9 over 4. So we can rearrange this so that the two solutions uh, for our equation is clear. So we're going to have x is equal to uh, minus 3 over 4 plus or minus 9 over 4. So again, in this case, you're going to consider the first instance whereby there's a plus and then there's a second instance where there is a minus. So the first solution, x will be minus 3 over 4 plus 9 over 4. So that is the same as minus 3 plus 9 over 4. So that is like 9 uh, minus 3, which is just 6. So you have 6 over 4, which is the same as 3 over 2 as our first solution uh, for the equation. And then the other solution will be when we consider uh, the negative uh, portion of this. So that will be minus 3 over 4 minus 9 over 4, which is the same as minus 3 minus 9 over 4. So that is minus 12 over 4, which is just negative 3. So x is either 3 over 2 or x is negative 3. Thank you for watching. Kindly subscribe.